Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name's Philip Brown. I've got a cool little problem right here. It's on compound interest, but it's not your straight old run-of-the-mill normal one. It says an annual interest rate of 4.2% is compounded monthly, and that's the same as what percentage of annual interest compounded quarterly? Give it a shot. Put your answer in the comment. Let's see how you do, because uh, we're going to solve this one right now in three, two, one. Let's get started, shall we? So first of all, got our problem right over there for reference, right? So let's start off with a formula, right? Compound interest. So future value is equal to the principal or the present value, however you want to say it, PV, principal value. Well, either way, you know, principal, present value, times 1 plus R divided by N to the power of NT, all right, so let's talk about this. FV is future value, PV is present value or principal. R is the interest rate. You got to write that as a decimal, not a percentage. N is the number of times it's compounded per year, right? N is the same in both. And T is, of course, time in years. All right, so uh, it says an annual interest rate of 4.2% compounded monthly. So that would be this right here. So the free future value is equal to the principal, right? 0 0.042, that's 4.2 percent, divided by 12. The reason it's divided by 12 is because it's compounded monthly and to the power of 12t because, right, n is the number of times per year. All right, now let's see the other one, the other e, um, situation where it's compounded quarterly, n would be 4. Right? Everything, otherwise, everything's the same. Now, here we don't know what the rate is. And that's what we got to figure out. So, our clue is this over here on the left. And it turns out they're going to be exactly the same, the same yield, same value. So, the future values are going to be the same. That means that we can set these two expressions equal to each other. Right? So, that's the um, interest compounded monthly. That's going to be equal to the same exact value of the interest compounded quarterly. That's what we got right there. So we're going to solve this thing right here. All right, so let's go ahead and clean up our screen a little bit, move that to the top, and let's go ahead and solve this. Now, since both sides have uh, PV, right, the previous value, the principle is exactly the same. We can go ahead and divide both sides by PV, get rid of it, clean it up a little bit. Another thing that's the same is the amount of time. Everything's the same except for this rate. So we can go ahead and get rid of time. That's just complicating things. If we don't get rid of it here, it's going to disappear later anyway. But for now, let's just go ahead and get rid of it. All right, now let's, let's use some inverse operations, some sad map to solve this. We're going to have to get rid of this exponent of 4. And the way you do that is you take the fourth root of both sides. When I take the fourth root of something to the power of 12, that just gets cubed. But for right now, we're just going to leave it just like that, okay? So the fourth root of this side over here, I'll go ahead and back up for you. The fourth root of fourth power, right? That would be one-fourth raised to the power of four. Those are just equal to one, so it just disappears. It's gone. All right, so now uh, you could simplify this. You were plug it into your calculator and get an approximation on every single step if you want, but I usually prefer to do it all at the end. All right, so we got this thing right here. Uh, we have to solve for the thing we don't know, so we're going to have to subtract one from both sides. And usually we put the one after the square root or the radical expression. And so I went ahead and did it just like that, right? I just put the one in the back over here. This one plus this one equals zero. One last step. I already put it in brackets make it, make it nice and pretty. We're going to multiply both sides by four. These fours reduce. And there we go. So whatever that turns out to be is our answer. Now, that's going to be a decimal. We're going to have to change it into a percentage, but you get the general idea. So now when you do this, all you got to do is be very careful that you're doing your order of operations right in your calculator. It's not entirely obvious, not as easy to do as you might believe. So just be very, very careful when you plug everything in. Just go very methodically. Be very careful that the actual operations are being done the correct order, right? PEMDAS. And we get 0 0.04215, which is 4.215 percent and that's our answer so how'd you like that question let me know if you liked it you'd like to see more let me know if you thought it was too easy let me know whatever you're thinking let me know how it goes hey in the meantime do all the stuff the cool kids are doing for us youtubers like subscribe share comment all that kind of stuff uh check out my sub stack if you like it a link will be in the description below there's a weekly challenge problem there just for fun there's also some goodies for teachers that i uh, give you guys access to you can check my website i've got all kinds of stuff for teachers there teachers pay teachers site as well all links in the description and hey once again i really do appreciate appreciate you guys joining me until next time hope you have a great day